What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV, and boy, do I got to I got some news to share with y'all. So, Marcus Jordan, the son of the goat, Michael Jeffrey Jordan, was spotted poolside in the south of France, snorting a white powder, snorting a white powder, looking happy, smiling and grinning, snorting that white girl, that Christina Aguilera, that Lindsay Lohan, that Hillary Duff, that Miley Cyrus, that Booger Sugar. Hey, man, this is crazy. Bronny James is a Laker and Marcus Jordan is a junkie. You can't make this up sitting on the poolside looking like Tyler Perry sniffing that cocaine. I say, oh, my God. But this is, you can't think of a better headline than this. This is crazy. The smirk on his face after he first sniffed it up, man, that let me know that coke was hidden immediately. He was pleased immediately, boy. And I'm like, oh, my God. This boy out here, he finna have them yellow eyes like his daddy. He want them yellow eyes like Michael Jordan. <laughs> this is crazy. And listen, I, I'm not saying Michael Jordan do no cocaina. I know he be drinking, doing a lot of drinking, drinking. That's why his, his, his eyes so yellow. That's why he got them yellow eyes. Look like he about to transform. My, Mark is going to transform in a minute. He, he keeps snorting his stuff. He going to transform in a minute into somebody we don't know, ain't never seen before. This might be why Larson Pippen got away from him. He started sniffing that stuff. He started turning to the credible hope. You hear me? I don't know. It look, it look crazy, though. It look crazy. I, I, I promise you. The moment he started smiling in that picture, my boy went straight to Peru as soon as he sniffed that Coke. I said, oh, this is... <laughs> oh, my God. He, and then he was smoking. Smoke, he was smoking some weed on the side. And with the Coke, too, he's a wild boy. I knew he was a wild boy when he wiped up a bus down like uh, Larsa Pippen. I knew he was a wild boy when he did that. When he wiped up a bus down like Larsa Pippen, I said, oh, this boy is out of his mind. Now when I see him doing this, I saw he really, he really crazy. He really out here wilding out. Yeah, son, he crazy. And I look, and, and look, this is crazy because to me, I'm looking at this like, damn, Marcus don't care. He doing, I mean, well, he's chilling with his friends. I don't think he knew nobody was recording him, to be fair to him. I don't think he knew nobody was recording him. But I'm looking like, this is crazy. Some of y'all talking about some, let him have fun in peace. Listen, bro, y'all never going to normalize Coke to me. Y'all never going to normalize that. I don't care what y'all think, what y'all say, y'all never going to normalize that. That is not normal to be sniffing cocaine. I don't care what the rich folk do when they, part, they spare time. That is not normal. Out here looking like Jaleel White and Tyler Perry had a baby, sniffing this stuff on the side, on the pool side. I say, yo, this is crazy. This is crazy. My son, though, this is my son say this wild too. What is my Marcus, brother? What are you? What you got going on, brother? You hear me? Michael Jordan got to make that phone call quick. Them pictures on on them pictures of Michael Jordan pool side look like an album cover for the weekend or Lil Uzi Vert or something. It really do look like one of the album covers. This is something, you know, because The Weeknd always rap about, sing about doing coke. This is perfectly, this would be his album cover verbatim. Mark is sniffing that stuff up his nose. And I say, oh my God, Juanita and, Mar and Michael going to fall out. Jordan Brand got to put out. <laughs> Jordan Brand going to have to figure out how to maneuver through this. Because you know Jordan Brand, they like to lie and act like stuff didn't happen. Like you remember when he tried to lie and try to act like the stuff with Camille and that didn't happen? They tried to lie and act like Michael Jordan never said he hated rap. And then Nori pulled out a picture of Michael Jordan being at the party because Michael Jordan say he wasn't at the party. Then Nori pulled out a picture of Michael Jordan at the party. So, yeah, Mike, Mike liked the Jordan brand liked the lie now. They liked the lie. So don't be don't be shocked now. Don't be shocked. But I'm, I'm just like, wow, my man is in plain sight doing this. In plain sight, he don't care. You know what I'm saying? What? I keep saying in plain sight. I can't. I gotta be fed to him. He didn't know he with his friends, but I'm guessing they all do this. I guess this is something that they all engage in on a regular basis because again, they sitting there watching them do it like they ain't tripping about it at all. Like go on here, this is what Marcus like to do. This how Marcus like to get to do it, get his his rocks off. I guess. But man, like I say, I knew he was a wild boy for wiping up Larson Pippen, who was out here running around with your favorite rappers, your favorite entertainers, and here come Marcus holding her hand, ready to kiss on her, ready, ready for her to be his everything. <laughs> Michael Jordan say, hey, listen, I'm cutting you out this wheel, boy. If you go ahead and marry this woman, I'm cutting you out the wheel. You ain't getting none of my money, so he had to let that go. Now Mike gonna say, hey, man, listen, you damaging my brand further now out here 
sniffing up this uh sniffing this damn Miley Cyrus on the on the pool side. Sniffing up that Taylor Swift. Hey, y'all ain't gonna again, y'all never gonna normalize that for me. You're never gonna normalize that to me. That that is that's wild. I'm just like I'm shocked. I'm appalled. <clears throat> you know, I've been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray by the Jordan family. <laughs> These are all jokes, y'all. Don't come on here. Man, people got all type of stuff in their personal tent. Don't come on here crying either. That You know, because I know some of y'all that love Michael Jordan gonna come here crying. Man, you can't leave Judge that on him. I'm, listen, I'm just joking. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. And you know this, man. But I'm just like, wow, though. Mark is out here getting to it, boy. He all for small forward. You, and that for real. Come on, man. Mark can say, listen, I'm, I'm going to be in the mix. His eyes going to be yellow, <laughs> white. He go, his eyes going to be wide. His eyes going to be big as a half a dollar coin off that stuff. And I'm like, man, this, <laughs> godly. I know Mike and going to have to put out a, pre a press release. They're going to have to do the Nancy Reagan just say no campaign to help recover from this. Just say no. They got to do the Nancy Reagan again. Because this is crazy. This ain't regular. This ain't marijuana. This is cocaina. This is what them people go. Them boys go to Columbia. This is what people go to Columbia to get. He doing what people go to Columbia to get the pure, pure, pure. Godly. And I heard this is people do this recreationally in certain places. I'm just black. <laughs> and from Chicago, Illinois. And black folks. That ain't got no money in, 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 in inner city black communities. Cocaine is just not a popular thing. It's not a normal. It's not a normalcy. You know what I mean? Out in Hawaii, they do cocaine recreationally. In Florida, cocaine, that's their go-to drug. That's recreational. You do you pull out some cocaine in front of me, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to call people out, everybody I know, and tell them you ain't here doing cocaine. Because that, <laughs> that is just a, that is not normal to me. It's not. That is something that's just not ever going to be normalized to me. Like, bro, what? You in here doing that? I'm going to go call everybody I know. Because, they, man, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, funny fact, one of my homies, man, he live in Hawaii. Y'all know my boy. He live in Hawaii. He was hanging with coworkers. They started doing cocaine. And in front of him, he went to the bathroom, went outside and called me and said, Malcolm, they in here doing cocaine. This is crazy. They out here really out here geeking out. Like like hypes, you know hypes is what we call crackheads in Chicago. Cause we ain't never seen. That ain't normal for us to be seeing. So it would it Michael, Michael Jordan son pull out some cocaine in front of me. I'm be like, hey dog, this is what you do? This you nephew? This you? <laughs> That's what I'ma do. This crazy man. Machiavelli Mills TV.